Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Iowa State Cyclone Football as today the 5 and 3 BYU Cougars who are 3 and 2 in the Big 12 are in Jack Trice Stadium taking on the number 12 Iowa State Cyclones who come in with a record of 7 and 1 and 5 and 0 oh in the Big 12 conference let's get to the Jack. Here we go, folks. It's going to be a good football game today. I feel it. Last season, we played BYU in BYU. And we sadly lost that game, I think, by three points last season. So we are definitely trying to win here tonight. It's also Parents Weekend here in Ames, Iowa. For the parents, the staff, for everyone. And there are your Cyclones, folks. They are ready for the action here today. Iowa State is currently sitting in first place in the Big 12 Conference standings in the North Division. TCU is sitting in the first place in the South Division. So we could have a rematch at the Big 12 Championship game at the end of the season like we did last year with TCU and it went to like double overtime. That was such a good ball game. BYU is the coin toss. They choose tails and they lose it and it's heads. The Cyclones are going to receive the kickoff. BYU and Iowa State is set to go. Harris is deep for the return. Harris with one yard in the end zone takes it out. Harris breaks the tackle, breaks two, and he gets a 28-yard return. Travis Jones, the last game was 9-12, 153 yards. No touchdowns, though, but a great game on the ground, though. It was a 28-14 win by the Cyclones in the last game against Cincinnati. First down and 10 Cyclones. Jones hands off to Josh Jordan. If you remember, Matt Gray got injured in our last game. So he is out for this game. But he will be back for our next game. Which will be on the road in Morgantown, West Virginia. To take on the West Virginia Mountaineers. We have kind of an upset on the bottom of your screen there. Florida knocked off South Carolina. Florida was number 13 and South Carolina was number 2. What a spin move by Josh Jordan to get a 10-yard gain. And a Cyclone first down. First down and 10 now for the Cyclones. Iowa State is off to their best start so far in program history. Can they just keep it going here today? Travis Jones, another handoff to Josh Jordan. Josh Jordan breaks the tackle. A flag though is on the field. Personal foul. Holding. Holding on Zach Sutton. So that's gonna move us back to now first down and 17. That was kind of an odd picture there, seeing the head coach and the official literally in the Iowa State's sideline. They're showing blitz on the left side of the field. Hand off to Josh Jordan on the right. Josh Jordan is taken down for a four yard gain. It's now second down and 14. Second down and 14 now. Iowa State is looking to go 8-1 on today's game. Travis Jones is in the backfield in the shotgun. Back to pass is Jones. Jones fires. It's caught by Donnie Fisher. That's good enough for a first down and 10. A 14 yards forward momentum gives the Cyclones the first down. 
as Travis Jones' first pass of the day. Beautiful bullet to Donnie Fisher. First down and 10 Cyclones. Jones hands it off to Josh Jordan. Josh Jordan flag on the field. Personal foul, face mask. Okay, that's going to give Iowa State an automatic first down. Justin Murray gets the penalty. So first down and 10 Cyclones. First down and 10. Jones back in the backfield with Josh Jordan. Hand off to Jordan. Jordan does have green grass ahead of him. And he gets a 10-yard gain on the play. It's only second down and inches. IO State is now in the Case IH red zone. Iowa State is looking to go up by a touchdown at least on their first possession of the ball game. Handoff to Harris. Harris with a beautiful 12 yard run. And that sets up a first down and goal by the Cyclones. Chase Harris, his first run of the ball game. First down and 10 now, I mean, sorry, first down and goal for the Cyclones at the six yard line. A seven play drive so far by the Cyclones. Jordan is in the backfield. Hand off, Josh Jordan on the half back counter play and it gains him four yards. So second down and goal now for the Cyclones at the two yard line. Of course, running the play is honestly the best thing to do here. Try to run it in, but the defenses, though, sometimes will stop you from doing that because they feel it. They sense that it's going to be a run because of how close you are to the end zone. Jones gets the snap off in time. He passes it down to a screen by Kyle Wright. Kyle Wright goes backwards and loses a yard. On that screen, though, that one Kyle Wright, I can't, why did Kyle Wright, he started going backwards, and then, sadly, the defense there got him. So it's third down and goal, Cyclones now at the three. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter of action. I would say in a goal line formation. Strong toss to Josh Jordan, he is in for a Cyclone touchdown. From three yards out. And Iowa State is on the board first on their first possession of the whole entire ball game. They get in to the end zone. Graham is now on the field. Set for a PAT. That was a 10 play. 67 yard drive. Took over four minutes off of the clock. Graham's PAT is up and good. And the Cyclones have a 7-2-0 lead. We have a studio update. Kansas wins by 5 points over Colorado. 35-30. Of course, the two teams that are like dead last and the Big 12 Conference standings. That would have been a good game to honestly watch for those two schools. Here at Jack Joy Stadium, it's 7-0. And BYU is set to get the ball. Graham is set for the kick. Graham with the kick, it's away. It's a beautiful one. And B O Will Sharp gets a 22 yard return. He's a little shaken up after that hit. He must have got the wind knocked out of him. First down and 10 now for the Cougars at the 23 yard line. 148 left to go in the first quarter. Parrish is back to pass. Play action caught by O'Connor. O'Connor with room. O'Connor is still going and he has taken down after a 52 yard reception. Jacob O'Connor 
from Cody Parrish. 52 yards. That is the biggest play of the whole entire ball game so far. Last year when we played BYU, it was an air raid offensive for both sides of the game. And man, oh man, it was a burner until the end. Parrish in the backfield. Back to pass again. Caught by Washington. Washington breaks the tackle. He breaks the second. But he does not break the third. But a six-yard reception by Joey Washington. Sets up a second down and four for the Cougars. Second down and four for BYU. They are in the red zone already. Back to pass. No handoff. And Vincent Bennett loses a yard on the play. Darius Carpenter with the tackle for loss. It's now third down at five for the Cougars. And we have one minute and counting down left to go in the first quarter. Iowa State's defense was huge in last week's game. A lot of sacks, a lot of force on the quarterback. And that pass is going to be caught, and that's going to be good enough for a first down and 10. Joey Washington with that first down grab of six yards. Parrish is three of three so far with 64 yards. First down and 10, BYU at the 13 yard line. 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Another screen play, but that goes incomplete. Joseph was there for the deflection. Second down and 10 now for the Cougars of BYU. Parrish moving the tight end over to the other side of the field. For the dingo, Parrish is keeping himself and Parrish is going to be sacked for a yard. Jackson got in on a sack. Dingo was almost there too. But no, Parrish goes down by Matt Jackson. It's third down and 11 for BYU. Are they going to get the playoff before the end of the quarter? They do. Parrish fires. Caught. And it is forward momentum. Good for a first down and goal for the Cougars. And that is how the first quarter is going to end. Iowa State is up 7-0 here after one quarter of play. The second quarter is coming up shortly with BYU. In the red zone, threatening to score a touchdown. First down and goal for BYU at the three-yard line. Parrish, 75 yards passing already through the air in just this drive alone. Hand off. He is stuffed. But he does get a two-yard gain, though. So it's now second down and goal for BYU at the one-yard line. First down and goal for the Cougars, ladies and gentlemen. Adams is not going anywhere. Rick Adams, no gain on the play. Third down and goal. Third down and goal for BYU. Third down conversions for BYU today is perfect. Two of two so far. Looks like they got their fullback on there. Whoa. I'm sorry. And BYU scores a touchdown anyway. I'm sorry about that technical difficulty there. Uh, screen literally went blank and boom. And it started up again. My apologies there, folks. The PAT for BYU. It's up. And it is good. We are tied here, 7-7. Seven to seven. Seven, to 7 is your score. I think we had a little power outage here in the... Kick is away. Harris is what for the return. 
Harris breaks it. Oh, Chase Harris. Good return. 31 yards. Of course, currently we are in where I am at anyway. Blizzard-like conditions. Wind shields are dropped big time. So I do expect maybe some power outages happening around the area for a lot of people, sadly. But first down and 10 Cyclones now under a beautiful return by Chase Harris. Jones hands out to Josh Jordan. Josh Jordan is going nowhere. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. Matt Davis got in there perfectly for the tackle. Josh Jordan, though, does have 40 yards on the ground so far in this ball game. Every Iowa State running back has all together has run for over 100 yards so far in every single game this year. Jones, back to pass, fires, caught by Kyle Wright. Kyle Wright gets four yards. It's now a third down and six by the Cyclones. Kyle Wright gave four yards. He kind of redeems himself that time from going backwards before getting a touchdown anyway. I was seeing on third down conversions as one of one. Travis Jones has completed all of his passes so far here tonight as well. Third down and six, Jones back to pass. Fires. That is caught by Michael Ryan. Michael Ryan breaks two tackles, but he cannot break the third. A 17 yard reception by Michael Ryan. That's good enough for a first down and 10 for Iowa State. Iowa State with the first down and 10. Josh Jordan in the backfield with Travis Jones. A handoff to Josh. Josh right, kind of broke a tackle there, but he does get tackled. A gain of three on the play. It's now second down and seven. Second down and seven now for B for Iowa State. BYU is trying to stop Iowa State. Come converting on. It's second down and seven. Back to pass is Jones. Fires. That is caught by Josh Jordan. That's good enough for a six-yard gain. And it's now third down and one. Third down and one. Now for the Cyclones. Sorry about that. If the screen went black, it kind of went out again. My apologies. Third down and one for the Cyclones. Handoff, Josh Jordan. He does break the tackle. And he does get a first down and 10 for the Cyclones. Of course, our mascot, Cy, is loving every single minute of this. Of how good the team is played today. 76 total yards for BYU. And 103 for Iowa State. A first down and 10. We are almost near two minutes left to go in the first half. Where Iowa State will kick off to BYU for the second half. Handoff to Chase Harris. And that is going nowhere. He loses a yard on the play. It's now second down and 11 for the Cyclones. Chase Harris loses a yard. Second down and 11 Cyclones at the 31 yard line. I do believe Iowa State does have the leg of Graham to kick a field goal here if needed at some time. Jones, back to pass. Jones does fire it. He has a... Oh, he had a guy wide open by Kyle Vaughn. Is there for the deflection to make it now third down and 11. All right. Uh, Travis Jones and the Cyclones have such a huge decision here. Are they just going to... Are they going to air it out towards the end zone? Dump it deep? Try to at least get in a better field goal range? What's going to happen here? Jones is back to pass. He does fire it. It is doing complete. Deflected away by Kyle Smith. Nobody is really open there. 
So it's now fourth down and 11 for the Cyclones. For the PAT, it is literally, I mean, for the field goal, it's a 48 yard attempt. Graham is going to try from 48 yards, ladies and gentlemen. There's no wind at all, so we'll see what happens here. If it goes short, BYU gets the ball right at this position. Graham kicks his up, and it is really short. Holy crap, Graham missed that by a long mile. That was a very short kick. It looks like Graham can maybe hit from like basically 35 yards. So it's first down to 10 BYU. Maybe they should have punted the football away, but that would have gone in the end zone anyway. Uh, for, you know, for BYU. So Parrish is back to pass. Caught by Humphrey. First down to 10 for the Cougars. There's their mascot, Cosmo. He's loving this right now. Under a minute and a half left to go here in the first half of play. Score tied 7-7 still. Parrish. Back to pass. No, handoff. Take it down. Timeout by BYU. Vincent Bennett gets four yards in the play. It's now just second down and six. FIU demolishes Middle Tennessee State on the bottom of your screen. If you'll see it again shortly, 51 to 6. Vincent Bennett with another two yard gain. It's now third down and four. BYU is not taking a timeout. BYU on third down conversions, 3 of 3. We are under one minute to go in the first half. Parrish. Trying to draw Iowa State offside. That's not going to work. Caught. Bennett. First down and 10 BYU. Time out by the Cougars. First down and 10 BYU. They are in Iowa State territory. 49 seconds left. Five wide. Parrish back to pass. Fires it. Incomplete. He's looking for his wide receivers on the sideline. But it was though too much air underneath it. To go incomplete. Second down and 10. Second down and 10 for BYU. Parrish back to pass again. Dingo bringing pressure. And Dingo got him set for two yards. No, that they're saying the sack was by Michael Smith. My apologies. Third down and 12 for BYU. Back to passes. Parrish. Parrish. Cal is caught by A.J. Rosario. That quick release from Cody Parrish. That is uh, literally, that is hard to beat. Towards the end zone, that is going to be incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Cougars. With 17 seconds left to go. BYU is in field goal range. I think that's might what they might try to do. Might go for a touchdown here. Let's see. Parrish back to pass again. Parrish is going to get dropped and sacked for three yards. It's third down and 13. BYU, I think they're going to spike it here. They do not. We have reached halftime. With a score tied 7-7, seven to seven, we have a beautiful ball game happening here. At Jack Trice Stadium, 7-7 seven to seven is your score. BYU will get the football here to start the second half now. Half time, of course, to Jack Trice Stadium. The parents, the staff, everyone was announced during the halftime. The band played a few songs. And now it's time for the second half of play with Graham. So to boom it down the field for BYU to start the second half. And it's underway. Sharp 
takes a knee. So first down and 10, BYU at the 25 yard line. Such a close ball game right now for both sides of the ball, for both schools anyway, I should actually say. And now that short pass does it again, but Joey Washington goes nowhere. Good old boy of Josh Wood was there to stop him. Second down and 10, BYU. Back to pass is Parrish again. Parrish fires, caught. Logan Tremblay was almost there for the tackle. And Logan Tremblay does finish up the tackle again. Will Sharp gets one yard on the on the through the air. That's his first catch of the day, too. It's now third down and nine. For the cyclo or before the Cougars, my apologies. Parish. Incomplete pass and BYU for their second half of their first possession. They will have to punt the football away. This is the first punt of the whole entire ball game. BYU is set for the punt. Iowa State is ready. The punt is away. Harris is going to return it. Oh, and Harris gets decked very hard. Eight yard return by Chase Harris. First down and 10 Cyclones at the 41. Nebraska beats Michigan. That is such a, that's kind of an upset there in my opinion. Even though Michigan is not ranked in this game anyway. First down and 10 Cyclones. Jones. Hands off to Josh Jordan. Josh Jordan breaks one tackle. He does not break the other one though. A six yard gain. It's now second down and four. Army beats Kent State. What a good game for Army. Of course, after this game with BYU, we only have three games left of the regular season before we do find out if we go back to the Big 12 Championship game, which this year's Big 12 Championship game for football is being played inside Lucas Oil Stadium, home of the Indianapolis Colts. The Big Ten Championship got moved to Dallas, Texas for one year. Of course, after this episode, we'll take a look at your top 25 poll for the coaches poll and the BCS. As well, see if maybe we got bowl pre projections out. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Of course, the Big 12 Conference standings as well. Travis Jones keeping it himself and he slides for a Cyclone first down. The pocket was collapsing around Jones. He decides to just run in himself. That is what you want in a quarterback. A quarterback that can see something like that happening and run for it himself. Josh Jordan gets the handoff. Josh Jordan does break a tackle. He does get eight yards on the ground. It's now second down and two. 13 rushing yards, 69 yards in general. 5.3 is the average by Josh Jordan here today. Second down and two, handoff. Josh Jordan gets a Cyclone first down, a four yard gain. Iowa State first down and 10. What is coach thinking of doing here? Nine, guys, Offensive coordinator is thinking about a pass play here. Maybe it looks like a play action pass. Play action. Fired. Deflected away by Kyle Smith. And complete second down and 10. I think Travis Jones was trying to just to throw that one away. Of course, if Iowa State gets to fourth down here, do not go for a field goal. Second down and 10, Cyclones. Jones. Going to pass. Fires. Caught by Kyle Wright. Kyle Wright goes forward for four yards. 
Third down and six. Not a lot of, a lot of passing yards today by Travis Jones, but this game, though, has been very close throughout the whole entire ball game. Jones, back to pass. Fires. That is caught by Donnie Fisher for a first down and 10. A 12-yard reception. Travis Jones and company is ready. Hand off. Jordan. Jordan Greengrass ahead. Oh my gosh. Jordan got 15 yards. First down and 10 Cyclones. That is 88 yards by Jordan on the ground today. And Iowa State is in the case IH red zone. First down and goal. Sorry about that, folks. If you hear that, I'm just... Trying to clean my nose. Dry weather. It does that to me all the time. Jones, hands off. Pitches football on the play. Davis picks it up. Ah, oh, mistake by the Cyclones. That's now first down and 10. Cougars. Jones tried to pitch it out. But it got deflected by a Cougar. It's now first down and 10. BYU. Iowa State comes up empty. In the case IH red zone. Fall start by BYU on the play on number 80. Move it back five yards. It'll be first down at 15. Still first down. There is 147 left to go in the third quarter. From the five yard line in their zone end zone. Pass. Almost got picked by David Joseph. Second down and 15. This game is very close for both sides of this football field. Parrish, hands off. Tackled. Four yard loss. Third down and 19. BYU. He got tackled at like the one. Could have been a safety there, folks. Third down and 19 for the site. Or I mean for the Cougars. I would say looking to get them as a safety. Handoff. Oh my goodness. He they just ran it to get some positive yards out of it. But it has another punt. Now coming up for BYU. It's fourth down and eleven. One minute left to go in the third. Punt is up and away. Harris. Fair catch signaled. Iowa State taking over. First down and 10 at the 49 yard line. Fifty-four seconds left to go in the third quarter of action here. Hand off. Josh Jordan. Jordan. Nice moves, flag though on the field. Face mask. Oh my goodness, give Iowa State some more yards. First down and 10 now at the 29. Iowa State will definitely take that. First down and 10 at the 29. After that face mask call. Oh baby, baby, baby. Jones back to pass fires end zone and complete second down to 10 for the Cyclones 35 seconds remaining in the third quarter Jones back to pass fires Deflex it away and complete again. Third down and 10 now for Iowa State. BYU definitely, definitely is a different ball team than a lot of people think. They will keep it close throughout the whole entire game. 
Jones is back to pass. Fires. It's caught by Michael Ryan, but not enough for a first down. It's fourth down and two for the Cyclones. On comes the field goal unit. Graham from 38 yards out. This, should, this is just a straight shot for a kick. Graham kick. It's up. And it is good. And Iowa State takes a 10 to 7 lead. We have a studio update. UCF and Oklahoma State just kicked off. It's now 3-0 UCF over the Cowboys. Miami and Georgia Tech. Ooh, that is a big game right there. 7-0 Miami leads the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets so far today. Georgia Tech is one of the remaining undefeated teams. Here in Jack Trice Stadium. It's 10 to 7 with the Cyclones in the lead with three seconds left to go until the end of the third. Then the fourth quarter, the kick. It's up by Graham. And Sharp takes a knee first down to 10. BYU at the 25. First down and 10 for the Cougars here. They are down by three points to the Cyclones. It's now first down 10 to 25. Parrish. That pass does not work this time. Joey Washington goes backwards for two yards. And that is how the third quarter of play is going to end here at Jack Trice Stadium. Welcome back to now start the fourth quarter of play where Iowa State is leading 10 to 7 as second down and 12 BYU. Back with the pass is Parrish. Parrish fires. It is caught by Dennis Frazier for a two yard gain. Third down and 10. Joseph Dingle did get to the quarterback to take him down. Third down and 10 for the Cougars. Parrish is back to pass. Pass is caught by Michael Bennett. I think that's Michael Bennett, if I am correct. Vince Vincent Bennett. My apology. I don't know why I was thinking about Michael Bennett. Sorry about that. But it's first down and 10 now for BYU. After a good screen pass there that did put them now in Iowa State territory. First down and 10. Pass is caught by O'Connor. O'Connor breaks a tackle and he gets another first down 10 for the Cougars. BYU is now showing us what they're made of finally. First down and 10 for the Cougars now. Pass is deflected by Mike Kelly. I think Joseph Dingo might have got on the flexion and Mike Kelly both. But it's now second down and 10. Back to pass. No, Bennett gets the handoff. Vincent Bennett gets six yards on the ground. It's third down and four. Third down and four for the Cougars. Third down conversions for BYU today is 6 of 8. They're in the red zone. They have scored a touchdown here in the red zone today. Back to passes Parrish. Parrish is blitzed. It's caught by Vincent Bennett. Vincent Bennett is not going anywhere. He gets a one-yard gain, though. But it's fourth down and three. And BYU is now set for a field goal. But watch out for the fake. BYU. PA field goal up and good. And we are tied up again here at Jack Trice Stadium. 10 to 10 is your score. 418 left to go in just the fourth quarter of the ball game. Harris set for the return. BYU kicks it away. Harris about four yards deep in his own end zone. 
He has taken it out. Harris is tackled after a 21-yard return. First down and 10, Cyclones at the 18-yard line. First down and 10, Cyclones with 4.15 left to go in the ball game. And off to Chase Harris. Chase Harris is going nowhere, loses a yard on the play. Second down and 11, Justin Murray in there on the tackle for loss. Second down and 11 for Iowa State. Clock rolling down. Jones back with a pass. Jones is going to get sacked. 10-yard sack from BYU for Travis Jones by Cedric Davis. It's now a third down and a mile. Third down and 21. Clock is still ticking. Jones is sacked again. BYU comes up big. Justin Murray with another sack. And James is that to punt from his literally own end zone from the back. James booms it. Fair catch. First down and 10. BYU. At like the 50 yard line. This game has been all defense, folks. First down 10, BYU at the 49. 253 is left to go in the fourth quarter. Parrish, back to pass. Parrish is going to get sacked. 11 yard sack. It's second down and 21. Second down and 21 now for the Cougars of BYU. Parrish back to pass again. He airs it. Logan Trembling almost got the interception. That would have been his fourth or fifth interception of the year. It's now third down and 21. Dingle. Screen pass to Vincent Bennett. Yeah, he is going nowhere. Fourth down and 22. This has definitely been a defensive grind battle throughout the whole entire ball game. And BYU is now going to be kicking the ball away. So Logan Tremblay. Got almost a pick, and now he got a tackle for a loss. BYU is letting the clock roll down to like two seconds left on the play clock to give Iowa State not a lot of time. But Iowa State does have a lot of time, though, too. They just don't understand. Ball is into the end zone for a touchback. First down and 10, Cyclones at the 25. One minute and 35 seconds left to go in the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Iowa State needs to get down around the 20-yard line for a guaranteed field goal. Hand off, Josh Jordan. Josh Jordan. That is how you're going to do it. 14 yards on the ground. First down and 10, Cyclones. 130 now left to go in the game. Iowa State is doing very well here tonight. Hand off. Back to Josh Jordan. He's taken down. Iowa State is going to go hurry up now, I do believe. Yes, Iowa State is going hurry up offense.
Pass is caught by Donny Fisher. Iowa City is taking their first time out of uh, the second half. Under a minute left to go in the ball game. 56 seconds remain. Travis Jones, 80 yards passing. I mean, not a really good game from Jones in general, but the game has been close all throughout by the defense. Josh Jordan gets five yards. Josh Jordan, the 118 yards on the ground here today. Jones back to pass. Fired. Deflected away. Oh my goodness. Third down and five. Thirty-four seconds remain. That was a jump ball for anyone to grab. Jones. Fires. Cut. Josh Jordan. Forward momentum. First down and ten. Six yard reception. Passes incomplete. Oh, sinking down in 10 now for the Cyclones. 19 seconds left. Iowa State is looking to win this ball game, folks, or send it to OT. One of those two. Jones fired. Oh, Josh Jordan, baby. Oh, ho, ho, what a gain by Josh Jordan on that pass from Travis Jones. Kenneth Birdlove was the only one to stop him from scoring a touchdown. Timeout, Iowa State. Two seconds remaining on the clock. Iowa State is just going to go for the guaranteed game winner. Timeout, Cougars. Timeout, Cougars. One remaining for BYU. And BYU takes their final timeout. And Iowa State now takes their timeout as well. Two seconds remaining. This is for the game winner. Kick. Straight down the middle, the Cyclones defeat the Cougars of BYU. 13 to 10. And Iowa State is on a six game winning streak. Thirteen to ten was your final score with Iowa State beating up on the Cougars, but the game was honestly more defense than anything else. Your games around the country, we got Southern Miss beats Florida Atlantic 33-30. Number 5, Alabama defeats Mississippi State 31-14. Boise State defeats Nevada 31-11. UCF clobbers Oklahoma State 45-17. The University of Massachusetts defeats an FCS team 24-6. And number 7, USC, defeats number 25, Stanford, 31-28. In today's ball game that you just witnessed, Iowa State defeats BYU 13-10 on a last-second field goal by Mr. Graham. 
it's now time to advance to our next week as we're getting closer to the end of the season Iowa State is now eight and one on the year Thirteen to ten victory by the Cyclones, ladies and gentlemen. What a great ball game at the Jack. BYU and Iowa State always has a close football game every single time they meet up. Now we head to West Virginia to Morgantown to take on the Mountaineers. That is our next uh, ball game, folks. This is our... We only got a few more ball games left, folks. We only got West Virginia, Kansas, and Kansas State. We stay at number 12 ranking. So we do not move at all in the poll, which does not really matter much. We're still up there, but West Virginia is not having a great season. Let's go see your top 25 poll. Your brand new top 25 poll is Ohio State, Georgia Tech, Northwestern, Alabama, Notre Dame, USC, Texas, South Carolina, Florida State, Oregon, Florida, Iowa State, TCU, Virginia Tech, Louisville, Georgia, Ole Miss, Oregon State, UCLA, Texas A&M, Miami, Michigan State, University of Louisiana Lafayette, UCF, and UConn. As your coaches poll in your BCS poll is Ohio State, Georgia Tech, Northwestern, Alabama, USC, Notre Dame, Texas, Florida, Florida State, South Carolina, Oregon, Virginia Tech, TCU, Iowa State, Louisville, Ole Miss, Georgia, UCLA, Miami, Oregon State, Michigan State, University of Louisiana, Lafayette, Texas A&M, UCF, UConn. So the teams that dropped out of the coaches' poll was Stanford, Washington State, Washington Temple, Arizona Army, Marshall, and Air Force all received votes. Now let's head to your conference standings for the Big 12. Iowa State at 8-1 and 6-0. Kansas State 6-3 and 4-2. And BYU at 5-4 and 3-3. And three and three. Utah at four and four and three and three. Kansas and Cincinnati at three and six and two and four. West Virginia and Colorado at two and seven and one and five. And the other Big Twelve, it is TCU at eight and two and seven and zero. Oh. Arizona at eight and one and five and one. UCF at seven and two and five and two. Arizona State at five and four and three and three. Baylor at four and five and two and four. Oklahoma State at three and five and two and four, Houston at three and six and two and four, and Texas Tech at three and six and one and five. Your Heisman watch currently, folks, it is Trey Butler from Ohio State that is leading the way for the Heisman watch. Let's look at his info right now for today's game. His quarterback rating is absolutely phenomenal. He is definitely 60 touchdown passes to only 12 picks. 
no wonder why he is literally maybe going to be winning the Heisman. Last year, he won the Maxwell Award. He was Heisman winner last year, too. He won the Heisman last year, the Maxwell, the Walter Camp, and the O'Brien. He is absolutely phenomenal. Let's check your award semifinalists for the Cyclones. And for everyone else, see if any Iowa State players are on the list. The Maxwell Award. So far, it's going to go to David Davis. If the season ended today, no Iowa State Cyclone on that list. Walter Camp is Michael Barnes. Is the so far the leader. The Ben Dark Award is Bush from Florida State. Nagruski Award. Joseph Dingle is on it. Hey, at least our guy is on it. Season stats, 23 tackles, 15 tackles for a loss, 9 sacks, and a forced fumble. He's number 5 on the list, which is not that bad. So we at least have one guy. No one there for the O'Brien. The Walker. Michael Barnes again. There's our guy, Matt Gray, but he is injured. I do believe he comes back in our net this game, though. 175 carries, 934, 937 yards, 10 touchdowns, 20 receptions for 189 yards, and 2 touchdowns. The Blickenkopf Award. Nobody's on that list for Iowa State. The Mackey Award is for the best tight end. Nobody is on there. The Outland Award. Suggs leads that right now. Nobody there. Remington Award is also led by Suggs. Lombardi. Joseph Dingle is on the Lombardi Award. Good thing to see that he is on that list. The best linebacker. Nobody there from Iowa State. Thorpe Award doesn't look like anyone. So Dingle is the front runner for a lot of, for two awards anyway. And Matt Gray is on the line as well. For an award, and now so is Chase Harris. 711 kickoff yards, a touchdown, and 143 punt yards, punt return yards by Chase Harris. So we have a few Cyclones on the list anyway, but not a lot. So that will do it for today, though, folks. Let's see our stats and records. For the passing leaders, Travis Jones is at 102nd place. Rushing yards, Matt Gray, he's in ninth, even though being injured. Receiving, no one's on that list. Tackles, Baker is on the list at number nine. Joseph Dingle is in fourth place for the sacks at nine. Sutton for Western Michigan, though. Oh, man, he is definitely sacking a lot of people. Interceptions, Cannon has three, and he's at 109th place. The kicking leaders, 112th. By for Graham, his longest 38. Not the best. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's episode, folks. I hope you all enjoy it. As coming up next is the Cyclones on the road to take on the West Virginia Mountaineers. That is it for Cyclone football today. As we defeated BYU 13 to 10. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below. I'll see you in the next episode as the number 12 Cyclones take on the West Virginia Mountaineers.